Okay, all right, so this is the first seminar of <laughs> Nutrition and Chill. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm Josh. And we're totally excited for day one with all of you here today. Super excited. Uh, this is the beginning of something awesome. Heck yeah. I appreciate everyone coming today. I know we all have our lives, our busy lives, and for y'all to come here and show support, it means a lot to me. So yes. thank you guys for that. Uh, guys, thank you so much for actually giving us a chance. Um, we expect the crowds to get bigger. Right now, this is like the intro, but so we definitely want to get started with something really that means like the world to us. This is, this is what we do. Fitness and nutrition and health is my life, as well as Josh's, and we really want to help. So we offer something free, something really cool and convenient in the city that we can actually have this here. And we can call the arena and Josh, like these two things that we can come, two entities that have come together and actually make something really, really, really cool. Thought, well thought out and really knowledgeable for y'all. That y'all take those everyday life. Cool, with that being said, Let's do it. Take place <laughs> so the good news is that now y'all don't have to go to supplement stores to get your nutrition advice. God. So there's a place you can come now to get that, okay? And just for those of you who don't know about me, I'd like to do a small intro. My name is Joshua Verdusco. I am a registered dietitian as well as a personal trainer. I've been a personal trainer for four years now. Currently I work at Spawn Shoreline as one of the clinical dietitians. And so I'm actually there in the forefront of uh, people who are unfortunate and have all these chronic diseases um, coming from a lot of different areas, not only just food, you know, but just things like smoking, uh, chronic alcoholism, um, and drug use, and also just overweight and obesity. Um, so I am able to go in these patients' room and speak with them about nutrition. So that's just a little bit about me. I was thinking about last night, like, okay, what do I want to tell these guys? There's just so much to talk about when it comes to nutrition. Nutrition is a vast field. And the way I wanted to set it up is like I posted in my title, you know, what to eat for health and then also how to eat for weight loss. And I wanted to separate those two because uh, traditionally we kind of clumped those two together. But I do think those are two different goals, okay? Eating for health is just something entirely different on its own. And how to eat for weight loss is based on the science, okay? How does weight loss actually happen? Okay, and that's what I'm gonna present to you today, give you an overview, and then jump into our first topic today, which is the science of weight loss. Nutrition, what is nutrition? Nutrition is a process of obtaining food in order to promote growth and health, okay? So I split these up into health in one corner, nutrition for health, and nutrition for weight loss, okay? And obviously, these are gonna have some similarities, okay? I'm not saying that, you know, it's only on this side and it's only on this side, but, Let's just start picturing or envisioning that so everyone should focus on their health, okay? Through nutrition, okay? And it's a, a very challenging battle because we have life, okay? And um, down here, we should, when, when it comes to nutrition for health, we should be asking the question, what to eat, okay? What kind of foods do I need to be eating? Uh, what are the foods that are gonna help me optimize my health, okay? Um, and these are things like protein, carbohydrates, and fat, uh, vitamins and minerals, and then types of foods you know, processed foods or whole foods, okay? On the other hand, we have weight loss. And the question we should be asking is, how do I eat? And before y'all say with your mouth, I know that. Um, but the reason I want people to start asking how to eat when it comes to weight loss is because we have to understand how this actually works. How does weight loss actually occur in the body, physiologically, as a science? Uh, so we can think of things like number of meals we need to eat in a day. Okay, these are some of the common questions. Uh, the timing of our meals. No eating after 6 p.m., is that true or is that false? Um, calories per day, how many calories do I need per day in order to start losing weight or even gaining weight for some people? And also adherence. Which method or diet am I gonna be able to stick to long enough to see the results that I want? The thing is like, who here has lost weight before? Everyone, right? So the problem isn't that we can't lose weight. I know everyone always says, I can't lose weight. We've all done it before, very successfully. In the research, it's really that we can't maintain our weight loss. We usually uh, have rebound, weight gain. Okay, so that's where adherence comes through because usually we start our diet in the new year and then we tend to fall off somewhere along the year. Um, so throughout our series, I'm gonna be going through uh, dedicating a, a seminar to adherence. How can we stick to our diet without falling off to get the results that we want, whether it's weight loss or weight gain, okay? 
And then finally, uh, the diet approach. Which diet is right for me? And the common thing is just to apply a diet for everyone. You know, everybody's gonna be on a ketogenic diet. That's it. You know, and it, it's cool on paper, you know, like, okay, it's a, it's a cool diet, the way it's explained and things like that, but does it really fit your life? Does it really fit your schedule? Does it fit your food preferences most of all? Okay, so these are some of the topics that we're gonna be going through throughout the seminar. And the, the first thing I wanted to start with actually is on the side of weight loss, how to eat. Weight loss, how does it happen in the body? So first we have to understand that all food is energy, okay? Whether it's coming from beverages, snacks, or meals. That's all what we consider food and that provides us with energy, okay? <laughs> and in our body, our bodies are in a constant state of storing and burning, okay? However, what determines fat loss is how much of the resources their energy is going to storage versus going to burn, okay? And the way we could set that up is what we call energy balance, okay? How many calories am I taking in on a daily basis consistently over time, which may cause weight gain, okay? Versus, can I control my calorie intake over a longer period of time in order to start seeing what I want, which is weight loss for the majority of people, okay? So if we could get more of our calories on the burning side, then that's gonna promote weight loss. If we're just not really watching our food intake, uh, not really going on any particular diets, it's probably gonna be storing over time, okay? Who here has been on a diet, a particular diet, like any of these right here? Keto, intermittent fasting, Weight Watchers, any of those things? Okay, the majority of us have tried it before. Um, I've tried intermittent fasting before. I've tried uh, meal plans before. I've tried uh, portion control. Uh, and then this one's not your, your girlfriend's diet either. It's a gluten-free diet, Eric's favorite. Gluten free. <laughs> so at the core of it, what diets really do that nobody ever tells us is that they just simply control calorie intake, okay? Because they're not just uh, going out and eating all sorts of types of foods. Uh, diets just give you a protocol and you have to follow these guidelines and rules in order to control that calorie intake. So that's what they do. But along the way, you know, we, we're super excited in the beginning uh, you know, we're like, all right, I can't wait to start this diet. You know, everybody's been telling me about it. I've seen it on TV. I've seen it on Facebook. Uh, let, let's do it. And, and that's great. You know, you're addressing, you know, what you want to take care of. Okay. Along the way, some things start to come up. Some challenges, some barriers. Things like your schedule. Okay. I get busy. You know, I don't have time to prep meals or whatever. Um, stress levels go up. And then you start eating ice cream. Um, Motivation waxes and wanes. Some days you feel really motivated, and then you know things in life happen, and then your motivation goes down. Okay, it happens. You get frustrated that you're not seeing the progress that you want, and also food dislikes that like we talked about in the beginning. You know, if I tell someone, okay, you're going to go on keto because that's a key to weight loss, and they're like, well, I don't really like to eat a high fat diet. Like it just upsets my stomach, and I can't really maintain it for a long term. That would be like some food dislikes. It might not be appropriate for that particular client. Some other things are social life, you know? I, always, I like to ask this question to my audience, is who ate out, went to birthday parties, you know, uh, celebrated certain achievements in life in 2017 with their family and friends? We all did, right? <coughs> who plans to celebrate birthdays, eat out, have a social life in 2018? <laughs> you can't help but raise your hand. A lot of times we go into the new year thinking that we're never gonna eat the cake. We're never going to go out and eat with our families. We're never gonna celebrate you know, uh, life achievements with our friends and family. But the truth of the matter is, we still are. And we shouldn't like, feel like we have to ever restrict that. Because then what's living? Okay, so I like to just kind of preface that in the beginning. Like, hey guys, we still have to live life. But there's a way we can learn about the science of nutrition for me to share strategies with you guys to control your calorie intakes along the way and I still enjoy life, um, you know, celebrating with family and friends, okay? Within reason, okay? So then we come off our diet, okay? And what happens? We go back to what I call the fun diet. It's really when we weren't really taking a look at our calorie intake or the foods we were eating, and then our, food, our energy goes back up. And that's where we maintain our weight or even gain weight over a long period of time. Okay, so as you can tell, it's not a circle, but it's more like a box, but, this is kind of the um, problem 
and an issue that we usually face a lot of times when we're trying to achieve our goals, whether it's weight loss or weight gain.